Hi, hello and welcome to Drive Spark. What you see here is a Kaito electric three-wheeler. Why exactly are we looking at electric three-wheelers today? Well, we are at the Future Mobility Show 2019 and well, the future is electric and that is all what you would find today. And let's go straight inside and I would give you a walk around of the Future Mobility Show 2019. Let me take you through all the stalls right off the bat. As soon as you enter, we have Maruti Suzuki displaying their products. And well, we have more vehicles out here. And let's have a look at all of them. Uh, let's start off on this end. We have the Bajaj Cute. Well, it is a future mobility show. So all you can see is what is the future and according to Bajaj this could be the future for India uh, and as you can see on the placard right over here an idea whose time has come well its time certainly has come it has been much awaited in the Indian market for a long time now uh, it has been sold in a few foreign markets but in the Indian market regulations have so far been preventing it from being sold but uh, we could see uh, see it soon on uh, Indian roads. We have uh, the cute on display here. To be honest, it looks quite well cute. It has interesting looking wheels. These are not alloys, these are steel wheels, but uh, designed well. Uh, let's take a look inside. And there is the passenger space and let's go to the other side this is the rear well it's a rear engine vehicle so uh, it's a tiny one cylinder engine at the rear air cooled and this is the yes please right and this is the front of the Bajaj Cute a simple instrument cluster right there and this is the gear lever it's bi-directional so it's just up 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 or down 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 to go through the gears S steering wheel with the cute logo and pretty bare basic setup but well it's a lot for the price that it would be sold at re electric rickshaw here has a range of 120 kilometers max speed of 45 kilometers an hour and well it sure does look quite comfortable it is spacious seats look wide and comfortable and this is the front we have the drive modes on this panel right here on the handlebar and again a simple setup but something that could solve or enable future mobility in India a hybrid electric vehicle this is the Solio sold by Suzuki in Japan and a few other Asian markets we do not have access to the interiors but we do know that the Solio is a hybrid and as we see here it's a straight import as the stickers show us, it's a hybrid. And then we have this, the Wagoner electric vehicle. This is not exactly how the version sold in India would be looking like, but it looks good. Interior is quite similar to the Wagner that is on sale, the new, big new Wagner. Specs are not yet out. And Maruti Suzuki has also displayed a CNG powered Celerio. This is the version that uh, Maruti Suzuki has been pitching to cab cab drivers and cab aggregators the tour h2 variant 
and let's get back to the other vehicles on display here bmw has displayed the i3s and it's just one display from bmw ashok leland has brought this new bus out it's called the circuit it's an electric bus of course and again it's just one display from ashok leland but it's a pretty big one as you can see this is just the first of electric products from ashok leland more is to come this year and next year by 2020 ashok leland aims to have six electric products and this is how the driver's cabin looks basic instrument cluster lot of switches and yep just two pedals it is electric of course pretty bright and refreshing interiors and if there you go uh, battery pack and motors mounted in the rear over 300 bhp and 900 nm of torque this particular bus is said to have a range of around 60 kilometers yes it's just 60 but it is still under development and Ashok Leyland would keep improving the buses uh, that they are developing it's not just buses they're coming up with uh, electric commercial vehicles to electric light commercial vehicles and uh, we have Mahindra Electric right here Mahindra Electric has displayed the trio range of three wheelers the trio and the trio yadi we have extensively covered the launch of this and we have also covered the factory in which it is built uh, it quite simply is the future for uh, electric three wheelers in india uh, but it is intriguing as to why mahindra did not display the e verito which is one of their best-selling electric vehicles in india but yes, this is the Trio Yari and the Trio. And let's move ahead. It is quite evident why the future is electric. And there's also companies like this, Delta, who have displayed electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Well, almost all manufacturers are developing or already have developed or already have launched electric vehicles what is required to keep the electric vehicles going is machines like this uh, electric vehicle chargers and that's exactly what delta is displaying it has everything right from small ones there to charge uh, electric two wheelers and slow charge four wheelers to big ones like this which are capable of fast charging four wheelers and bigger ones like this with two outlets and there are several companies that have displayed charging infrastructure at this expo future mobility show 2019 and jbm is also uh, one of the companies that has displayed such a product jbm is also into manufacturing electric buses but on display here is again a charging station we have Shindengen which also develops charging stations electric charging points and we see here one of the flagship products and more products from Shindengen and we have here wireless charging systems flow mounted and this is an undercar wireless charging system works quite similar to a smartphone charger but of course a lot more powerful you just drive over the charger and park your vehicle and it just charges you don't need to plug it in and we have more manufacturers displaying everything from cables to connectors to plug points and we have 
lot of students as well who are uh, showcasing their products that they're developing that's all system is displaying high-tech electric vehicle and smart mobility infrastructure and products New Horizon Education Institutes ISIE India all developing all uh, displaying vehicles that they have developed for various competitions around the world this took part in the World Solar Challenge. As you see, a lot of solar panels on it. It was developed by our own RV College of Engineering uh, students. And well, it took part in the World Solar Challenge. And we have IIT Madras, Aspen Boa e vehicles. This is Etron and manufactures electric three-wheelers and two-wheelers this is typically what you see in southeast asia and uh, well over there you have more powerful engines of course but here we have a little less powerful but similar looking machines on display here in bangalore right now yet another charging machine Charging machines definitely seem to be the flavor of the day because, well, electric vehicles are supposed to grow in multitudes and uh, uh, charging stations are very much required to help in that. Indian Oil too has made use of the opportunity and it has developed lubrication oils for electric vehicles and that is exactly what is on display right there and we have more manufacturers displaying vehicles we have Ampere vehicles over here who have displayed the range of scooters they have on sale in India and there they are the Zeal, the V40 here's a closer look it's electric, electric, electric all the way and this is the battery technology here we have e-motion motors Coimbatore based developing one of India's premium electric motorcycles and there you have it. And we go further. Exicon has displayed this. It's something they're calling the bulk charger. And as you can see, it has 10 charging ports for electric vehicles, of course. And we have this fast charger Continental well-known manufacturer of ECUs and various uh, modules for vehicles used all around the world has displayed this electric drivetrain for scooters and this is their 48 volt e-scooter it is quite simply a Vespa but well converted to electric design wise it is actually a Vespa and uh, spec wise also it is a Vespa but Continental has swapped the single cylinder petrol engine with their electric motors and that's the 48 volt e-scooter Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited, Earth Movers Limited, BHEL, well known manufacturer of heavy machinery, dump trucks, you have diggers, load haulers. They have displayed this a zero emission fuel cell powered vehicle. Well, speak of future mobility, here it is. Well, not exactly in this shape or condition, but 
this is a well used example that BHL has been using. BHL has also been uh, using the electric buses, electric mini buses at the Taj Mahal in Agra. And over here they have displayed this the 12 meter electric bus. And let's have a look inside. There you go, this is where the driver sits. And this is the high tech display that the driver gets. And a tachometer, of course, to show how many RPMs the electric motor is doing. And this is the interior. Pretty conventional interior comparable to any Volvo but it's electric and here we have on display lithium-ion battery packs electric motors inverters conductors motors and catalytic converter for diesel engines but this is a new patented technology of BHEL it's called the ceramic honeycomb catalytic converter. It reduces emissions, apparently. And that was from BHEL. Here we have SEG Automotive for displaying their products. Jeep is one of the sponsors of the Future Mobility Show 2019 and have displayed their compass. Uh, will Jeep have any? electric or hybrid products in the future well for sure but how soon we can't say and it doesn't look like it is coming out anytime soon Torre innovation by chemistry have displayed various products like electric motors manifolds etc and of course how can we not have ether energy when it comes to electric mobility future mobility we have Ether Energy displaying the 450 scooters 0 to 40 in 3.9 seconds you have 75 km range 80 km square top speed we have Ether's very own charging stations which are compatible with other electric vehicles as well but just goes right with Ether's own scooters and Let's go back and we have a surprise from Toyota India. First time being seen in the Indian market. Well, there's no news of it launching yet, but Toyota has taken the initiative and displayed how ready they are to embrace change in the Indian market when it comes to the green revolution. What we see here is Toyota displaying a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and a complete electric vehicle. Hoisting the hybrid flag is the new Toyota Camry. We have driven it and the review is up on our site. You can go and check it out. This is the new Toyota Camry. Hybrid, of course. And this is the new Toyota Prius. It is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And Toyota has displayed it. Toyota has always been one of the most responsive vehicles, uh, vehicle manufacturers when it comes to environment friendly vehicles and this is a perfect example of that and this is a surprise I was talking to you about the Scion EQ electric vehicle of course it is left hand drive because it is an American vehicle typical electric vehicle characteristics it is sold only in 
America and there's no news of it coming to India but Toyota has displayed it. Scion is Toyota's subsidiary. Toyota owns the Scion brand and uh, Scion is basically sold only in America for now but it could be sold in India in the future or could not. Uh, it could be a rebadged version of this coming to India or maybe not. There is absolutely no information about the same for now. But this is the Toyota, the Scion EQ. And finally, last but not the least, we have one of the best selling electric cars in India. The Tata Tigor EV. Orders have been placed for thousands of these and Tata is selling them and it is doing very well in the Indian market could be quite a case study when looked at because it looks exactly like its internal combustion engine powered sibling but is a lot more eco-friendly because well zero emissions and yep So there you have it, the Future Mobility Show 2019, these are all the manufacturers that have displayed various vehicles, electric, non-electric, hybrid, CNG and well the future certainly looks green, the government of Karnataka has supported a lot, we had uh, earlier had uh, the Minister for Heavy and Medium Industries KJ George coming and addressing the inauguration ceremony and he had announced various initiatives that the government of Karnataka has taken and various governments in India have taken to promote electric mobility and uh, we see all these vehicles as a result of that much more is to come and this is just the start of things for the electric vehicle market in India. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to DriveSpark for more auto news, reviews, and updates.